Mom, do you have those cups? Here they are. Oh, great. Oh, these are so cute. Thank you. This is a dessert that my mom did use to make for us, and I wanted to make it for you because you are like the dark chocolate advocate. Yes, I love dark chocolate. The darker, the better. And it's semi-sweet Baker's chocolate, about eight ounces, and I just chop it up because then it's going to melt faster. Of course, you want to do double boiler for chocolate because you don't want chocolate to burn. It can burn really easily. So, Mom, your philosophy is just that little bit of dark chocolate at the end of the night. Sometimes we have a glass of red wine because red wine and a little bit of dark chocolate, that's good for you, right? Well, I think it is. I think it's something to do every day. Well, that's coming along well. Yes, it is. All right, quarter cup of sugar. Don't look, Mom. I don't want it to upset you. Well, a little sugar once in a while, not bad. I'm glad this is being documented, because I don't see this much. <laughs> you have no memory of us ever cooking together, right? <laughs> no, I have memories. Just, you know. Just not many. Faded and spotty, like an old photo album. Right. This is what I remember loving about this hot fudge sauce, that sort of real fudgy graininess, mm, where it almost feels like we took a piece of fudge and just melted it. You did used to make good fudge, too. <laughs> oh. I remember that. Now it's starting. Yeah, she's like, now it's coming back to you, huh? Right. OK, I'm going to do a third of a cup of half and half. What about the butter? Oh, OK, gosh, she, she, she knows her recipe. So, Mom, I've reduced it so it's just about a tablespoon of butter. All and right. you put the butter in, as my mother knows, to make it kind of smooth and shiny. It's like conditioner, just sort of finishes it off. And then just a half teaspoon of vanilla, it just kind of evens out the flavor. Does it meet with your approval? I think it's very good. I think it's ready. Good. To start things off, first I put a nice dollop of chocolate on the bottom instead of just the top, because you know when you get down to the bottom, you always want a little more. Then I fill the glass with fresh and colorful raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Finally, a nice drizzle of sauce on top and you've got a beautiful dessert. Just ever so little. You don't need too much. Let's sneak a taste. All right. We don't have to tell anybody, you know, like when we ate meat that night. Just a little. <laughs> All right, just a little taste. Mmm, mmm, wow. The bittersweet of the chocolate with the sweet, sweet of the fruit, it goes nice, huh? Delicious. Oh, yes. Really.